Hey, Mr. P here. In this video, we're going to talk about obtaining pure cultures. So from a microscopic standpoint or a microbiology standpoint, it's all about isolating pure cultures that are genetically identical so that you can ensure that all microbes within the experiment or within the sample that you're collecting are the same. So there's really one method we're going to kind of focus on, and that is the streak plate method. Obviously, on this thumbnail, you can see a proper streak plate, which obviously has a section of bacteria that is very, very um, condensed, right? Very, very concentrated. And as we kind of streak or go through that streak plate method, which you've done in class, you can uh, successfully isolate pure cultures that you can then take with your inoculation loop um, and transfer as inoculum to whatever sample it is that you're working with. Okay, so why obtain pure cultures? When we look at a streak plate or a successfully done streak plate, you should be able to see zones of varying concentration. Obviously, where you start should be very, very concentrated, where you um, kind of successful, like as you progress through the streak plate method, it'll get more and more and more spread out or less and less concentrated. And if you're successful, you will get to a point where you get individual pure cultures. And these are the pure cultures that we're trying to obtain. A pure culture contains only one species or strain of bacteria. So if you are taking bacteria from a single uh, circular colony, you can be certain that it is a population of cells that arose from a single cell or at least from a group of attached bacteria that probably originally um, uh, grew from a single uh, pure bacterium as well. A colony is often called a colony forming unit, so these are CFUs, and we can look at the CFU count um, on a particular street plate or on um, some kind of sample that allows us to um, draw some kind of data and some, um, some qualitative data from a sample. This is the streak plate method. Again, I've alluded to that. The streak plate method is used to isolate pure cultures, and it really is the only way that we're going to talk about in this class how to obtain pure cultures. And so how you streak plate is you will take a auger plate, okay? And it can be a variety of different augers. Um, it can be nutrient auger if, if nutrient auger is conducive to the bacteria that you're growing. Um, it could be selective or differential media, right? We've talked about that in the past, but you take a... a um, sterile auger plate. You then sterilize your loop. Okay, we've gone through how that uh, process or how that protocol works. And you will take a sample from one plate to another or from a broth to this plate. But um, ultimately, you need to take your loop and you need to streak it along this path in one quadrant of this plate. Okay, now if you kind of divided this plate into four quadrants, you can see that primarily we're working in the first quadrant with our pure, um, kind of our most concentrated uh, solution, right? Our, our most concentrated sample. Then you'll flame the loop. You will not touch the original culture ever again. You will then streak through our original quadrant and pull some of that bacteria into quadrant two, okay? So after you streak quadrant one, you'll then pull through quadrant one and uh, inoculate quadrant two. You'll then flame your loop, okay? Sterilize your loop. You will follow that up by pulling through quadrant two and inoculating quadrant three. That should further uh, deconcentrate this particular solution or this particular sample. You flame your loop and then you pull through quadrant three and inoculate quadrant four. And by the time you get done with all four quadrants, you should have a sample after it is allowed to grow for 24 to 48 hours. You should have a sample that allows you to actually see pure cultures. Now, the reason I like to show this particular sample is that you will notice that some of these are actually yellow colonies, or I should say white colonies, and some of them are this kind of pinky red color colonies. It is very likely and very common to actually have more than one strain of bacteria in a particular sample at once. And so it is really important to employ the streak plate method so that when we kind of go through the streak plate method, you can actually isolate pure cultures and you can actually differentiate or begin to differentiate the two strains of bacteria in this one particular sample. 
if you just streaked um, all of your bacteria and produced a lawn, okay, we didn't re-sterilize, we didn't pull through each of the quadrants, we basically just took um, our inoculum and we just did this across our whole plate, your whole plate would look like your whole plate would look like this, okay? And that's not what we want, because you would then, if you go to pull a sample from this plate, you would actually have both strains or both colonies of bacteria on your inoculation loop um, all the time, because you cannot differentiate or you cannot uh, isolate pure cultures from this particular uh, concentrate, right? You need to streak it out. You need to um, obtain, like, go through this entire streak plate method in order to obtain these pure cultures. If I want to work with just the white bacterium, I can take my inoculation loop and I can just pull bacteria from that strain. Okay. If I want to work with just the red ones, I can pull from just this colony and I can ensure that I'm only transferring that strain of bacteria to my new plate or to my new broth and that allows me to work one-on-one -on -one with the bacteria that I want to work with. Okay. So that is the streak plate method. This video is really short. Um, it just talks about how to obtain pure cultures through the streak plate method. Uh, bring your questions to class. See ya.